Hi, it's Chris and welcome back to this um, Symphony video on learning how to use collections. So in this video we're going to be looking at the remove functionality. Um, start off with the form type that perhaps we should have started off with when we looked at adding but um, I didn't because uh, I forgot. So <laughs> the controller itself hasn't changed. Um, even though I just said I'd start off with the form, jumped immediately back. Oh my god. Uh, right, yeah, so the form, the the controller hasn't changed but the the form type has had some new stuff added in, so we've added in the allow delete. As we saw at the end of the last video, we, did, we had to have the allow add, and likewise, to be able to remove stuff from this collection, we have to have the allow delete. And then by reference means that certain um, additional methods will be, well not additional methods, but different methods will be called. Um, it's easier to demonstrate by showing you. So, instead of the which one's that? It's speakers. So instead of set speakers and get speakers being called, um, we will instead call the add speaker, remove speaker methods depending on, on what we're up to. Um, so yes, yeah, just, just to be aware, otherwise like it will try and do the set speakers method and then that will probably cause you some troubles. So uh, I don't know if I covered the add speaker method. I don't think I did in the last video. Um, naughty me. Yeah, that's probably going to cause some trouble. Anyway, like I said in the last video, you can't actually do the implementation of this without um, watching this and understanding the fundamentals. So basically, there's two methods that we've added in. Add speaker, remove speaker. The type hinted to take a speaker entity. Um, and what this is basically saying, if there is no... Um, speaker in the speakers where are we so we're like on construct of the conference object we create an empty speakers array collection um, and then what we're saying here is if this array collection doesn't contain the speaker then add it in otherwise you know you might end up with a duplicate and then on the case of the remove we're saying if this speakers array collection contains this speaker then remove the element. Now there is also um, this speakers remove and that's looking for a key so that's actually looking for like a number um, you try and pass in a speaker you're going to get an error there or any um, object you're going to get an error there just be aware of that and then simply return the object uh, sorry the array collection uh, yeah if you've not used array collections before it's a Doctrine thing, I think it comes with doctrine from what I remember. Let's just quickly check that. Yeah, so it's like um, doctrine's way of like handling groups of, of arrays. Uh, it, they're really nice, actually. There's some really nice methods on them. Um, if you have seen them, uh, apologies for the short digression, but you can see like there's quite a few like helpers in there that just what's going on there. Uh, like is empty and stuff just little checks that you can use that handy basically that you, you don't keep having to type the same stuff anyway. you know, feel free to look into that at your, at your leisure the other thing is if you ever see um, like here it's I've type hinted to a collection now that's a collection interface um, really important because when you're persisting and retrieving using Doctrine, sometimes you get back an array collection and sometimes you'll get back a persistent collection. Let's just see if we can find that persistent collection. Yeah, so um, obviously if you've type hinted to an array collection and then you're suddenly trying to put a persistent collection in, you're going to get an error. Whereas if you just type hint to the interface, you're always going to get in there because persistent collection, array collection, whatever, as long as it's implementing the collection interface, your golden so yeah I mean what is it that's what's the thing code to an interface not to an implementation so yeah that's basically um like a demonstration of that I guess so yeah those are the two methods that we've added in um let's see what else we've got I don't think there's anything in there so yes this is just removing um so we've added in this allow delete by reference and then we've also added in some new JavaScript uh, again, this is just completely shamelessly stolen from from the Symphony website. Let's just quickly look through. So yeah, um, allow delete, blah blah blah, and then uh, I'm sure there's something in there that tells you to do it by reference. Where is it? 
be nice if they give you an all-in-one example at the end. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I've just nicked this other additional bit of JavaScript. So let's just quickly go through what I've done. So I've just added it in there. So this it goes through each element in the list. Our uh, collection holder. So a collection holder contains the unordered list of speakers, and then we're going through each element in that list and we're adding this add speaker delete link which is down here very simple it's just a um, link which says delete the speaker which we're appending and then when someone clicks out we remember we do the pre uh, prevent default which stops the form jumping stops the browser jumping to the top of the page and adding a hash to the end of the URL and then it's just going to remove that um, whatever we clicked uh, from the from the list and then when we submit it because it's not there uh, it just doesn't get submitted not that that does much at the moment but we'll have a quick look as long as I've uploaded this let's have a look god it's uh, it's not exactly quick this computer it's running too many VMs um, this one's actually uh, a live website at the moment oh, terrible anyway so yeah, we got these new delete speaker links and then if we delete it and save it uh, you can see that the array collection now only can, well, not array collection, but the array only contains one object so pretty cool. Um, again, doesn't really do much at the moment, we're going to need to put in the additional stuff uh, I can close to, to make that work. Have we put anything else in here? I don't think we did at this point. No, it's all still the same so yeah, pretty straightforward to remove. It's just copying and pasting from the docs pretty much, but that's the functionality that we're going for. This is like the front end side of things and then the back end stuff we're about to see in the next video, so stay tuned.